God bless you, everybody. It's Apostle Love. Many of you should know me by now, but if you don't, I am an apostle to the nations. And I had to come on here today because my assignment is to bring order and correction to the body of Christ. And, you know, I hate to say this, but I do have a word today. It is a very hard word, though, okay? I do got to prepare you for that. It's a hard word word today. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm really not for sure why, you know, the mantle of correction, you know, just rest upon me, but you know, that's just my mandate. All right. But I do have a hard word today. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. And so I'm really coming on here because I am a defender of the church. And I'm coming to stand in proxy on behalf of all the pastors, you know, all over the world. And what I'm going to say, I'm really saying on a behalf and my behalf. You ready? We sick of y'all talking about us. You hear me? We sick of the congregants. Getting in your little circles, calling your little lie buddy and your little play buddy and your little friend of me on the phone, you know, complaining and talking about us. We sick of y'all. And y'all only pick at us because you know we saved and you know we can't really clap back. But my problem is, if you don't like us, why you keep coming to our church every Sunday? It don't make no sense to me. You keep telling everybody how you don't like how we do this. You don't like how we do that. You don't like how we, you know, um, you know, manage our ministry, how we preach, how we do things. You don't like how we lay hands. Well, the truth is, we don't like you either. Because you messy and you a troublemaker. We don't like you either. And you know, we keep praying for you because God be making us. I don't know if you knew that or not, but God be making us. Because we really don't want to fool with you either. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you just keep up trouble. I mean, and just so discord all in the church. And we just got to keep putting up with your foolishness. And to top it off, y'all be coming to the altar. And your breath be smelling like you ate a diaper. And we got to stand up there and release the word of the Lord to you without vomiting it. You do know that take an anointing, right? You do know that take courage and a grace. To stand up there and minister to you with your breath smelling like that. And no pastor should have to stand up under that type of pressure, sugar. But we do it. We endure hardness like a good soldier. Sunday after Sunday after Sunday. And you got the nerve to say what you don't like about us. How dare you? <sighs> I got to calm down. I got to calm down because that thing just. That thing just got in my spirit. And you know, we have to put up with so many ungodly things. Y'all talk about us talking about how, you know, we don't use you in the ministry. We don't let you get in the pool pit. You know, we don't give you opportunity. But the truth is, we can't bring you to the forefront or let you get on the microphone because you don't know how to, you know, be presentable. Sugar. Yo, how you want to keep coming to the front when you look like you've been raped and robbed? You know what I'm saying? But you want to come up here, you know what I'm saying, and, and read the announcements. I mean, where is your clothes? You have dress? You look like you just came off of Fifth and Main, sugar. I can't let that up here in front of my church. But you want to keep putting your mouth on your pastor. And they just trying to teach you how to, you know, present yourself in modesty. Mm -mm -mm. Pastor's got it so hard, you know. I'm so And it's always the ones that want to come up front that got on spandex. 
index. And you want to show all your cellulite and your dimples? Don't nobody want to see that? Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, it's always the one that want to read the announcements that can't even read. We ain't got time, you know, to be taking 10 minutes to listen to you read three words. You up there talking about mo 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 we don't have that type of time, baby. They be sitting up there watching, you know, listening to you stutter and stagger. You know, we're not going to stagger at the premises of God this year. Woo. I'm exhausted just thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? It's just so much to address. I mean, y'all don't realize what y'all be taking us through as pastors. And we just consistently love on you and love on you and love on you. And then now, now we really got to deal with this spirit right here. Then you got, you know, that one person in your church, you know, when church let out and it's like 20 people in the line and they all waiting to, you know, greet the pastor. But you got this one inconsiderate person that want to talk to the pastor for a long time. Now you see all these people in the line waiting to greet the pastor and you want to take all day. It's 20 people in line and you number three and you want to get up there and now you want the pastor to help you plan your whole conference. Why would you want him to help you plan your whole conference right now? And you see it's 17 more people waiting to come on up here. I mean, this the year we're going to break the spirit of stupid and in consideration. You hear me? And then, listen, then the people got the nerve to get mad because you didn't register for their conference. Baby, we ain't registered for your conference. We just heard the whole experience standing here for the past hour. We shifting our legs because we tired of standing. Baby, we sick of your conference before it even gets started. We already standing here frustrated and you think we finna pay some money to go to your conference and be frustrated further? Sugar? We sick of you and your conference. Mm -mm -mm. You see us standing here. We been in service all day just like you. And then you want to, you know, get mad at the pastor because he trying to move you along because he see the long line. And you want to say, pastor ain't treat me right, pastor rushing me. Is you cuckoo or are you crazy? Is you cuckoo or are you crazy? Now you talking about your church hurt. Sugar, go, baby, go somewhere and sit down. Come on, just be considerate. You know, people like you get attacked because you, you know, they, some people call it read the room, but I don't say read because psychics read, but you didn't observe your room. You didn't observe your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't considerate and observe what was going on. Sugar, you need, you know, some more discernment and, and some alertability. You know what I'm saying? Jesus. You know? Woo. I mean, I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed at the, you know, the blatant disrespect. And then they just want to talk about us and talk about us. It just don't make no sense. But you know, this, I got, I got a solution. I want y'all to hear me and hear me clear. Pastors, I got a solution. You know, while I was in prayer, a spirit dropped in my spirit to do a conference just for you. Now, this is a conference exclusive.
for just all pastors and senior leaders. So regular people don't try to ask to come. Regular congregants and regular ministers don't ask to come. This is exclusive for pastors, okay? It's going to be called, you know, the pastoral clapback revival conference. I'm going to say it again. It's called the pastoral clapback revival conference because this is the year we gonna get healed we're gonna you know this conference is designed to soul cleanse okay it's gonna cleanse your soul this is the conference you're gonna have the opportunity to say all those things you really want to say but you can't because people know you're saved but baby we're gonna let you let loose and just release Whatever it is off your heart. So what we going to do on day one session, we going to take a day. We all going to stand around in a circle and you going to say whatever it is that you want to say. Go ahead and write a list of all the names you want to get back at. Okay. And when we get there, I just want you to yell out stuff and say, you know, say what you really want to say. You know, tell the, pe tell the people sugar your breath stink. Baby, you know, stop coming to the front of the church to shout and you got on the cheap shoes and in your feet stink and your shoes ugly. It's always the ones with the worst shoes that want to do all the shouting up front. Baby, you know, just say what you want and say I really don't want to fool with you because I don't really like your mama. Yeah. We're going to get delivered. We're going to get our soul cleansed. You can say what you want to say. If you want to tell somebody, bring their name and put on a paper, you're going to say, Larry, shut up. Ray Ray, you get on my nerves. CC, you just stupid. BB, you just crazy. You know, just say what it is you want to say. Okay? That's all we're going to do on day one. Okay? Now, on day two, that's what I want you to do. I want you to wear comfortable clothes, bring a pillow, because we're going to be on our knees at the altar for about five hours, five mean grace, and we're going to do nothing but repent for everything we said on day one so we don't die and go to hell, okay? All right, but you know, this conference is really going to be beneficial, you know, for all leaders, you know, just as a cleansing and refreshing. So, you know, I just lead the people with this. Keep your mouth off your pastor. You do know it's a church on every corner, right? You do know that, right? You know, you do know you can go, you know, visit these churches and, you know, and if you got a demon, you know, we're not required, you know, for you to have, you know, perfect attendance. It's always the witches, the warlocks, the people that got mental disorder, they got perfect attendance. I just personally recommend, Sugar, you can, you know, just stay at home and watch online. You ain't got to show up in this season. You know, or, you know, just watch your line or go to another church permanently. Amen. So, listen, just, you know, receive this correction and love from Apostle Love. God bless you.